Hi, my name is Gabriel Harrison. Uh, I come from Germany and this is my homemade electric motorcycle. Check. So um, I started off with buying myself on eBay uh, Yamaha DT80 and um, I bought it for about 80 euros. The parts which I didn't need, I sold on eBay. The money went then to the other parts like the motor and the controller and the solenoid. It, it was a whole set. It cost me about eight, 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 nine hundred dollars, US dollars. The batteries I bought online, uh, four 12 volts, 12 amps, uh, batteries, gel batteries, and yeah, I made like out of out of multiplex. I made uh, a box for it that it's like a pack, and it's easy to put into the motorcycle. It's about here to put in and to take out of it. That it's uh, yeah. On the motorcycle build, I built now about uh, four or five months. I started building the bike with looking for the right spots for the motor and for the battery pack. It was a really close fit, the motor and the batteries, because it's uh, quite a small um, frame. It's a 80cc frame, and that's pretty small for an electric motorcycle um, rebuild or conversion. I fixed the motor with square rods welded to the frame. Setting up the controller and the motor was a little bit tricky because on the motor there wasn't plus and minus poles, so I had to guess and I guessed wrong. So at the first test the uh, rear wheel turned backwards and I had to rewire the motor. That was a little pain in the ass because this whole setup was pretty good and then I had to wire the other way around and that was a whole lot of work but uh, you have to do what you have to do. The loading unit, so how you load it is pretty uh, simple. I came up with uh, taking an old vacuum cleaner apart and taking out the, the cable retraction mechanism and putting it into the original tank from the Yamaha DT80, which is still under this tank, which I, or is still under this new uh, tank. So I glued on parts to the tank and just to make it, uh, just to make a new design. Yeah. The inside of the cover is made of construction foam and that's the, the construction foam it takes the shape from the inside electronics and from the motor and from the battery pack on top of the construction foam i glued with hot glue the raw shape and with cardboard and on top of that i did a layer of glass fiber and then a layer of filler that made a really nice finish and then i sprayed black but somehow I wasn't really satisfied with the finish so that I got uh, on Amazon and bought myself some black foil and that took the rest little uneven, uh, uneven spots on the cover. The whole design from the motorcycle comes from me. I started off with uh, making, uh, doing a good picture from the side and photoshopping a bit to the motorcycle and trying stuff out. But it turns out pretty different than my original plans. But I am very happy how it turned out and yeah. To protect the glass fiber um, cover for the electrical parts inside, I wanted to uh, weld a safety bar and this is just parts which I found at home from pre previous projects and welded them together. Um, this safety bar is pretty rigid, so I tested as well. Um, I, I laid the motorcycle down and to test if this um, setup here really holds the weight from the motorcycle. The motorcycle weighs about um, 120 kilograms. The bar here is connected with 
two bolts, one here and one up here. You can disassemble the bar pretty easily, but um, yeah, you don't really have to. You just have to disassemble the bar if you want to get into the motorcycle. For the back sprocket, I first bought a wrong size so that I had to reorder it and buy a new one. This one got 70 teeth and comes from England, so I imported that. It cost me about around 30 euros. The front fork is from a Yamaha LC2 and is not the original. I uh, bought a new one because I wanted a thicker one. I wanted a, a bigger one, a chunky one. That cost me about 40 euros and bought it off eBay. To fit the larger fork, which has a bigger diameter, I had to drill out the hole here. And this was a really big act because uh, this is pretty hard steel. And with a force and a bit, this is pretty long and yeah, it's a pretty long process. So yeah, this took me about uh, eight hours to drill out all four holes. GHB stands for uh, Gabriel Harrison Bikes. The top speed of the electric motorcycle is about 70 kilometers per hour, but I couldn't test that out because of the weather conditions here in Germany. The motorcycle runs about, guessing now, 10 kilometers, but um, I didn't try it out yet. And yeah, the um, 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 yeah, making doing a um, scheiße, um, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, 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 uh, um, yeah, um, uh, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, 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 uh,